Hello guys, welcome to another day of Defemmer Yay! Yay, Effie. Effie was up early today for some reason. I don't know what he was up to, but shall we tell everybody what today's prompt is? It is Nature's Treasure. Yeah. What's that, Effie? What did you say? He says cheese is nature's treasure. Well, I would agree. That is one of my favorite foods. Definitely. I'm glad we can agree on that. But I thought that there was another creature that is nature's treasure for this planet. Can you guess what that might be? Uh, worms? No. Birds? Mm, yes, definitely. Um, what did you say? Coffee? Oh, most definitely coffee is definitely one of nature's treasures. I think a lot of people would agree with you there too. But at, Effie, let me show you. Let me show you what, what I think. Do you know what that is? Yes, it's a bee. I think bees are nature's treasure. Yeah, what? Oh, you heard something? What did you hear? That if we didn't have beads, bees, we wouldn't eat? I think you're right. We should probably do some more research on that, but I think I've heard that somewhere. You're gonna go, oh, you're gonna go fact check it. You're gonna go Google it. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I'll see you in a little while, Effie. Anyway, guys, hi, welcome to, I think we're at day, or prompt 10, Nature's Treasure, and I believe probably y'all have your own thoughts and opinions about Nature's Treasures, and I think there's more than one, and lots of them. So, as um, Effie said, coffee, for sure. So, I went ahead and got some bee ephemera. It's not Graphics Fairy, and I can't, if I can think of the name, I will put it down in the video description below where I got these free printables. Um, Graphics Fairy, no, what was the other one, I think? Mm, I can't remember, and it doesn't say, because I went and printed it off, but it doesn't really say, it's just Terra. Um, I wish it did have a website on here, because I'm terrible um, when it comes to remembering who I got what from. So basically I did kind of cut some stuff out. I So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use these two pages because I just couldn't really decide. Of course I wanted to use the one that had the sunflower because I'm from Kansas. But this one says honey smoke tobacco. So nature's treasures not only pollinates our flowers and foods for us, but I guess, you know, as you know, there's lots of things that can be made with honey, and I imagine this is a real thing that they probably did make honey tobacco, and, you know, honey, honey soap, I don't know, this one, oh, yeah, this one has British and Irish magnetic telegraph, three, I don't even know what that, I was thinking, I don't know, at first I thought it was tea, but it says telegraph on it, so I thought that was cool. Um, nice to use this one because my husband's from Ireland. So anyway, I'm just going to cut this out. <clears throat> and I'll put it on this page because this is such a nice page. I don't think I need uh, to do any background. I may do some stamping. We'll see. I probably will need some something to make it pop. But for in the meantime just cut this out so welcome guys thank you for stopping by hope you're enjoying watching everyone's videos I've been enjoying it I mean like Louisa and Barbara they're so creative when it comes to their journal pages but they they got a lot of experience I haven't even been doing junk journaling for a year or so you know, practice and doing it all the time. You come up with some really great ideas, don't you? So with this one, what I'm gonna do is cut the edges out and I'm just gonna cut a slit here and make a pocket. This is gonna be my, I'm gonna make a little notebook to fit in there. So that'll be another kind of useful journal ephemera. I'm really trying to do some more ephemera, at least practice it anyway. Like I said in previous videos, I am not, I don't have a lot of experience in making ephemera, so 
this is a good way to practice. So what are you guys up to today? You guys having a great day? So that's going to go there. Definitely have to bring that up. And then this flap, I'm going to put this here. So I'll cut this out. Just came back from a walk and Rolo's chewing on his chewy. I think the other two are trying to settle down, so I'm sure you will hear some snoring in a little while. We're supposed to get rain, I think starting Thursday, all the way into next week, so we're gonna have a rainy Christmas. But I'm okay because I'm going to be in here and I'm going to put a fire on and just get cozy and be with family and friends. Anyway, I think that will be like a flip. And this is going to be the little notepad. Because I was going to stop at that and I'm like, well, what else could I put in here? I was like, oh, I could do a pocket. But then I didn't want to cover up these illustrations so I saw this and I was like ooh I've seen that done before so I'm just gonna cut this here okay so I think that'll fit in just fine let's move this out of the way <clears throat> careful not to go clear to the end or I'm gonna that isn't gonna work so we'll just start here Shall we bring it in a little bit? That always seems to help. Okay. <clears throat> so I think I want to leave this here. I might do some script stamping. I'll get my stamps out. I didn't think about the stamping until I turned on the video, guys. Sorry, I didn't have my stamps out. But I usually have <clears throat> my favorites already queued up on blocks. Just go with my old favorite, which is ground espresso. Or I do have vintage photo. Let's try vintage photo for a while. Okay, so I think I need this is always tricky with this. I don't know if this is going to work. I didn't want to leave you guys. We could, um, yep, that's going to be tricky with this here. I'm trying to stamp, but it's just the edges anyway. So I'll put that down here so that it's a hard surface. I've learned. Oh, I need some paper. I'll just take it back up here. All right, so we'll just do the edges. turn out 
too good. Oh, not bad, not bad. Let's see how that works. Okay, perfect. Try and get over here. <clears throat> feel clumsy around stamps. I don't know what it is. Okay, there's that. There. Okay, well, a little blurry, but I think that'll work great. Yay, okay. Just do one page at a time. Get this to go back down. Put a card back in. I did write a little sentiment on the back of my um, journal card because I figured, well, if we're going to do this. And then I wrote something else on the back of that. So I'm really trying to um, you know, fill in my journal practice. Okay, so. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry guys. Right. And it was right in front of me. I was like, here we go again, guys. I lost my ephemera. And I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> All right, so let this I'm gonna use the glue stick for the initial stick and then Okay, so that looks pretty good. Make sure it's straight though. That's ah, not, it's a little crooked. Oh well, I'm leaving it. Okay, now we have this, but I think I want to do some stamping here and here. But let's, in the meantime, look this page out. So I do believe that this is going to have to get kind of trimmed off a little bit. Go ahead and okay, that works. So let's think about a stamped image on this side. I'm going to have to get our box out again, move my coffee. Let's see if we can get this to kind of do what we did before. Yes. Let's see. We can get to prompt this up. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Yeah, I think you guys kind of get the picture so I can get a hard surface to stamp on here without um, making a mess of it. Let's see. Some of my other favorites that I have already queued up on my a little bird might be cute at the top. You won't be able to see it all. Or I've got... Let's just do this. Let's be simple. All right, we're gonna do this. Let me get some paper behind here. We'll do vintage photo again. And kind of just be kind of random. Good. 
Oh, they didn't go here. Let's go ahead and whoop. Go right on the his head. Ow. As I bent down to pick it up, I bumped my head. Hey. Okay. stamp on this side. <clears throat> Sorry guys, just my throat is croaky. So there's that. That opens like this. This goes like that. And maybe we will do we do one while we do this one it's one that I actually made I don't use it too much so let's go for it and maybe we can go this way or this way which one mm, let's try this one Bad, but I didn't get it on the top. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. Let's try that again. Okay, well, that didn't go very well either. Let's try that again. Let's see if we can get it to go. Oh, well. <clears throat> that one did it. Okay. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. So that'll work, I think, nicely. Okay. Simple, simple. Right. Let's glue this in and make sure that I don't glue this part. There's our box here, though. What's that? F Effie. Effie, what's up? What's up? What's up? Hi. So what did you find out with Google? Oh, you didn't even go? You what? What happened? Oh, you got mail? Oh, boy. I'm going to turn it around so we don't look at the address. Wow. Thank you for going and checking the post today. Oh, you are expecting this because you traded two doors, I remember, yes, and so this is the second door, and you'll have to remind me who this is from. Let me look at the notes here. Terry Michelin Man. So, Terry, if you're watching, thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot wait to open this up, and let's see what she sent us. She sent us more than a door, I think. I think she did, Effie. <laughs> mm, what are you up to, Effie? Oh, you're so sweet, though, with all your surprises. Okay, here we go, guys. Woohoo, it's packed. It's jam packed. All right, let me see. I hope you love your door and scraps. They are from a few of my previous crafting projects. This and this one, I hope you love the door. The picture I took of my outside of my house and I felt lots and left lots of room for you to create with Effie on 1231. P.S. You can cut the backings from the windows if you want to. They aren't glued down. If you need to cut it to fit your journal, it will still work. If you cut top or bottom or maybe a strand standalone or I don't know I'm blabbering now so I'll let you go thanks again for the swap Terry Michelin man 
All right, thank you, Terry. She gave me some scraps. Woohoo! We're gonna use these. We gotta use these in our. Um, I think we'll have to start using these in our next prompts because these look great. Hey, she does painting papers too, like I do. I love it. Loving, loving, loving these. Thank you, Terry. Oh, this is cool. What? Did, how did she do this? It almost looks. I guess it is coffee dye, but it almost looks like it was, like, scorched or something. Oh, but you know what? I just noticed these are torn Bible pages, which is all right. So this is Genesis 39, too. Wonderful. Genesis 39, 1. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. That is awesome. So all of these scraps. And now for the... Look at that door, Effie. Let's see if we can get into it, shall we? Without tearing anything. Yikes. Did I get it? Nope. <clears throat> Terry, this is hard to open. Let's see. Okay, I found a way in. Found a way in. Here we go. Well, that didn't take too long for the doggies to start snoring, huh, Effie? I know you're used to it by now. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Okay, I kind of wanted to save the bag, but I may just have to. Um, nope, I think we got it. Do we get any at it? Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh! That's beautiful. Look at that color. That's like my favorite color, too. Okay. That's a... Oh, look. And she even... Did you send her a note? Yep. Here's your note you sent her, and she sent it back. That's cool. Made with lots of love. Handmade. Look at Effie. Look. Oh, my gosh. Wow. And that is a picture of Terry's backyard. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That is like a true scene from, not that nature's not true somewhere, but we know that that is from one of our friends. That is cool. Love it. 15, and that's my house number. How clever, Terry. <laughs> I love it. And I love this um, cross. Absolutely cool. We'll have to figure it out. We'll figure it out in here somehow. So we're going to put it with the door. It says here. Oh, it's another scripture verse. Thank you. Ask and it shall be given. Be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened for you. Matthew 7, 7. I love it. Well, I'm definitely not trimming it from the top. We'd have to trim it from the bottom. But we wouldn't have to trim too much, Effie. Oh, you want to do it? Okay, all right. I'll let you do it then. Perfect. So we'll just set you up here. Put you in here like this. Perfect. Thank you, Terry. Awesome. All right. I guess we better get busy. Get back to the to the video. Okay. Let's think about this. Can you guys see? Are you in the shot? Okay, cool. All right. We are going to, or I am going to glue. If you guys want to come through the video and do this, that would be fun. I don't know how well that would work. Maybe one day we'll do a live. Effie, do you want to do lives? <clears throat> we'll have to think about that. That would be fun. Okay, maybe next year we'll plan on it. Okay. And there we go. And that's gonna fit in there just like that. And now, let's find, okay, here it is. We did not lose it. I probably think I feel like I need to make this a little firm, more firm. So, where did that? Here, we'll use some of this. And if we glue it like this, then we'll have that pink, pretty pink 
paper on the back. Good idea, Effie. Good idea. Yes, let's put the pin back in the glue. I have misplaced it so many times already. Okay, what am I doing? Let's do the glue stick here. So we'll want to do this area up in here. There we go, and then when we flip it, it's got that pretty pink paper there. We're gonna go with it, shall we? Yes. And folks, all three of them are out like a light right under my desk, those puppies. And that's Rolo snoring right now. Okay, and he's the baby of the pack and he's the biggest one. Okay, so there we go. There's our little flip. Now let's work on our little notebook thing. So I have this for the cover and now I all of Terry's goodies here. So I have these um, coffee dyed leftover cuts from when I make um, actual spiral notebooks with my cinch. I don't know that we want to do too many. Could probably only do a couple. We fold it in half. That'll be perfect size. Perfect. Okay, so now the question is how bulky do we want? And we need kind of a back, don't we? Do I need to um, maybe use this to reinforce the front and a back cover too? Right. Let's think about this. Let's do, let's go ahead and back this. Look, I found a pencil today. Okay, so there's the front. You know what, we can just stamp something on the back and then use this to cover this up. Um, yeah, go ahead. I was gonna cut this little hump off, but I think we'll keep it. Right, so, scissors. This one here. Ah, uh, darn. There we go. Okay, so there's that. And 
we can just trim around it. And then we have this other one. I just realized. Oh, you know what? We could do. paper. I wonder. Yeah, we'll just do tea dyed paper. I'm just going to go ahead and glue this, this. And stick that here. And for the stamp on the back, since I already have already stamped um, some leaves, can just continue with leaves on here somehow. So that was kind of like that. We'll just finish the pattern. And very good. straight bummer oh well we can fix that I have an idea okay so there's that here is our front flap Okay, let's just cut it. So it's got the white bits off here. Don't know if I should round the corners or not. Effie says it might be harder to get into the little pocket if the corners are rounded. And I think you might be right. Okay, so there's that. Let's see how many. Maybe we should just do three of these. I'll turn this one on the other side. So when I trim it, what do we think? enough you think yeah just a little notepad take my pencil <clears throat> okay here's my ruler yay didn't go too far today take it. Why not? Did I set everything? Set all of them? Yep. So all I was going to do is staple it. But before I staple it, because I kind of like those rough edges hanging out. Do you remember in yesterday's video how I like um, papers hanging out? <laughs> I'm going to use this. I've been excited. Use this to perforate the the papers so they're easy torn out if you wanted to tear them out. Saw it somewhere a while ago. I thought it was such a genius idea. So maybe you need to think about where we want to staple. 
I think, should I staple it first and then do it? I'm, uh, yeah, I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to do those one at a time. So, why don't I just make a little mark here? can't remember how they did it, but I think they just, it was just as simple as this. It does go through a couple pages, but try not to push too hard on it. So you can kind of see where you went with it before I say that and now I lost it in my view about right there. I wonder if you need to do it a little bit more, I think. Don't know. Well, I suppose we could do front and back. This is thicker copy paper, too. It's actually, I got the really nice copying paper for my journals, my spiral journals, so it's a little thicker. I can't remember the DSMs. I, to be honest, I don't even think I even paid attention. Sorry, this might be a little painful to watch. I've never, this is the first time I'm doing this on camera, so you guys can learn with me and figure things out too as we do this together. I know, and it's just for me anyway, so I suppose, but it's good practice if you're gonna do it for, um, journals that you want to sell or gift. Okay. One more, one more. I'm just going to guess on this one. About. And then I'm just going to call it good and then we'll see if it works. Okay, so that goes like that. Goes behind. I'm not exactly sure. I forgot to do this side. I'm just going to refold this and I have to do it. I messed up because I did it on the fold and on the tear part, but okay guys, I think that'll, I'm going to do this one on the inside of it though. There's that one, this one. Anyway, that is, I'm going to call that good and experiment more with that. Get my little stapler. Hopefully it'll staple through all this. Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. Okay, there we go. Anyways. I should put, I have my little scrap. Sorry for moving the camera, guys. This little scrap bowl, I thought I could put some lace. And maybe I'll just be, since there's a lot of pink and I like pink. Maybe we could um, fancy it up a little bit. Here. And maybe use this piece of lace too. Fabric fix. I think I'm just going to glue it on there and then cut after. Okay, here we go. Hi, Riley. Are you settling down yet? Nope. He's got a self-soothe self on his little blankie over there, so... Okay. 
perfect. So I like it. Scissors. Here we go. Okay. Let that dry. Let's bring in our few little things to do before we call it good. Because if anything, I could just put this back part in here like that. Woohoo! That's kind of cute, guys. That's my first ever little tiny notebook, like, within a journal that I've ever made. So, we're, we're expanding. We are learning. Okay, so before I put this in, I like to go ahead. It's what I've kind of been doing traditionally lately. I didn't do it with yesterday's page. I don't know if it needs it, but um, I'm going to need our lid back from the cigar box here. I usually do this off camera and then forget, so what I usually like to do is go over the edges a little bit, kind of to frame, frame out the work. I might have done this once before, maybe on another account, I think. Oh, I know what it is. It's usually if the pages are too wet. I can't do this on camera, so. Now we're going to see that this is crooked. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's this that's crooked. Yep, I think it's my tab that I ended up putting on that page. Effie, I almost knocked you off the desk. Sorry. I know. We'll go this way so we don't. Gives it a kind of a drawing effect. Okay, and then I think I will do this. It's so cute. Today's a pretty nice day. I have the window open, and Rolo is just sitting there looking at me. Maybe, you know what? I'm going to show you if I can show you guys. It's so cute. Hold on. Isn't that adorable? Just sitting there looking out the window. And do you guys want to see my messy desk? Kind of. And oh, do you want to see? There we go. Then you then I oh here's Effie. He was sitting here watching us. And then there's Riley self self-soothing. And then that is Toby. Please don't mind the carpet. But anyway, there's a panorama of my messy table with all my stuff. There you go. A little view of my studio. Here's another shelf. Since I am doing this, I might as well show you. And there we are. 
All right, guys, let me put you back up here. Sorry for the wobble. Okay, so I think that'll do it. I'm kind of liking that. It's cool. We put our journal card back in for yesterday's. So we're getting some ephemera. Oh, you know what I'm going to do too? I mean, I'm not going to do this because we're already at like 45 minutes on this video. But I'm going to go ahead and make another journal card and put it in here because I realized we had a pocket here. So this the I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do that off camera. Uh, I'll try to remind to show you, tr try to remember to show you next video. So here we go, guys. Nature's treasures. Treasure for me is the bee. So thanks for stopping by. If you lasted this long on my video, I really appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow. Effie, what is the next prompt? I feel like I'm going to miss this when this is done. So we did nature's treasure, and then tomorrow is recycled fairy. Mm. Now, I've got something different I'm going to do with that one. So Effie says, yay, can't wait. All right, guys, love you. Take care. See you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.